That's right. No, wait, wait, no. The, adver the airlines that advertise on CBS, don't, they don't do that. <laughs> the rest of you? I don't know. Do you know what I did like, though, is uh, the halftime show. I was like, oh! That's interesting. Uh, although I didn't like the black IPs trying to look cool coming down from the ceiling but wearing big safety harnesses. It's not that dangerous when you're strapped in eight different ways. You want to see danger? Look at the guy who has to tell the 400 drunk ticket holders from Pittsburgh and Green Bay <laughs> they can't get into the game because the fire marshal said their seats were unsafe. I'm sorry, you can't get in. <laughs> we got you a pennant. <laughs> And we have a ticket to next year's circle, which will be held in Indianapolis. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> oh, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Um, it's uh, commercial break time, isn't it? Oh, thank goodness, I've run out of steam. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's that time, Jeff. Buy these products, consumer zombies. <laughs> He doesn't mean it like that. He's trying to be cutting edge and, and, and on the, what do they call it? Edgy? Yeah, yeah, he's trying to be edgy. Is that what you're being, edgy? For reals? Yeah, for reals, you're trying to be edgy and all different and alternative and stuff. Oh, pumpkins. <laughs> Take that, edgy young comedians. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Everybody. <laughs> All right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Time to check that stuff on your disc, Craig. <laughs> time to what that what on your what? Time to check that stuff on your disc, Craig. <laughs> time to check right, that stuff right, on right, your right, disc, right. Craig. Play the tingle. Secretary, but it right. wasn't. It was you. He could possibly be waiting in the wings. You never know. Do you think he might be? <laughs> if he were waiting there, what the hell? <laughs> would you dance with him? I would love. Uh, you lead the dance, and I'll follow. How's that? If you thought the horse was a little slow tonight, we've actually got a stand-in uh, ass end of the horse tonight, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Regular ass is out, so... Uh, you still got that cup, I see. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Remember we talked about that last time? No. We don't. I don't remember that. I said, I love that cup, I'd love a cup like that. And you went, yeah, yeah, I'll get you one. Oh, well, I will. Mm. It's lost a tooth as well. It has lost a tooth. I, uh, I, it was in a fight. Oh. <laughs> with another cup. <laughs> Uh, you're not a guest on the show. I'm just um, going to do the emails. Do you want me to go? No, no, you're all right. Oh. You can help me with this. All right, what are we doing? Uh, well, I'm doing the emails. The I'm a bit tired. Actually. Okay, just li I'll just listen to the first one. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Let me try that, man. <laughs> careful, all careful. Right. Yeah, all right. This is from Lacey in Point O'Perns. Point O'Perns in Michigan. <laughs> all right, uh... 
Lacey says, Dear Craig and Dominic, she probably meant. She didn't know, yeah, yeah, she yeah, just says Craig. Yeah, she says, Dear Craig, did you ever wonder there's a, if there's a par parallel universe and if you're there too? <laughs> I mean, wonder that? Wow, I think. I, this could be a long, a long answer. I'm, I'm totally convinced there's a parallel universe. Really? Mm -hmm. I think everything is happening at, on different places at the same time, always. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you? Yeah. I definitely think, because yeah. I, I, I had this in my head all the time as kind of like a like waking dream, I definitely think that I'm running down a runway with a kind of princess type character and the, <laughs> the planet that I'm on, seriously, is on fire and we're trying to get to the ship on time to fly off. That's just a movie you saw. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Star Wars on ice, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I bet, yeah. Wicked. Do you think they've done that? They probably have done they that. They've probably tried it. Yeah, yeah. But the Darth Vader helmet would yeah, always fall forward, wouldn't it? Did you watch the Super Bowl, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is from uh, Kelsey in La Mirada in California. You, uh, have, you ever been, have you ever been to California? It's a picture of a cock there. Yeah, there's a picture of a cock right there. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the first time you saw a picture. Anyway, the, uh, uh, Kelsey says, uh, it's almost my 18th birthday. What is a good way to celebrate? Well, what's a good way to celebrate an 18th birthday? Uh, what's the legal age of, of drinking in, in America? 21. All right, so that's out. Um, I'd just say friends, friends, family, maybe a cake. <laughs> I think that's what she had in mind. All right, this is from... Uh, this is from Christopher in West Orange in Texas. Now, have you ever been to Texas? I've been to Austin, which is also my father's name. Austin is your father's name? and you That's weird. Yeah, that's like mom's... if you had a father called St. Louis and you'd been to St. Louis. Isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, this is from Christopher in West Orange in Texas. says, Craig, I know you like Doctor Who, but I was wondering if you have any other science fiction favourites. Do you like the Doctor Who? But he's asked you that question. I keep answering for you. Well, why, he, why don't you answer that one? I and do. I, and I'll, like, I'll go, mm, mm. Uh, I... <laughs> I do have other science fiction favourites. Mm. My favourite is uh, Dominic Moynihan in that Planet movie where he runs along with a oh, princess. Yeah. Yeah. Do you it's going to get made. It's going to get made. Science fiction. Uh, I like the work of a science fiction writer called Jeff Noon and William Gibson. And I'm a big fan of Star Wars, Black Star, 2001. You were nail polish? Matrix, yeah. <laughs> Matrix. No one said they were just for girls. I, you know. I, w I actually wear it a lot on my toes. Me I'm, not, too. I'm not wearing any right now. I usually wear, I, like when I spoke at the White House thing, I was wearing something rather flashy and fruity. Glittering. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I always like to wear it because if I wear it in my hands, people know, but if I wear it underneath my socks, they don't know just how. Yeah, it's like a secret. It's like wearing your girlfriend's underwear. No one knows but you. It's kind of sexy. <laughs> Unless you like pulling it out of your ass. That's what I do. How, d how did you know I. Anyway, look, oh, yeah. This is from Shane and <laughs> Shane's from Johnson City in Tennessee. No joke there, then. No, no. <laughs> you haven't heard that one before, then, Shane, have you? Uh, Shane says, "Dear Craig, I have a pet boa constrictor." Oh. oh. And my friends think that's weird. What do you think? I have two boa constrictors. You do not. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. God, that is weird, man. I don't think. I don't think it's that weird. Um, I'd like to know what type of boa constrictors they are, because they get pretty huge, you know, they get hard to manage when they're Well, you, what do you call them when they're that size? Venti? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get ginormous and they eat, like, rabbits and your arms. Don't that say that! They yeah. eat rabbits? They will eat it's a rabbit. It's the year of the rabbits! Is it really? the year of the rabbit! They will do that. They will eat a full rabbit. Really? Well, how can a snake get... Rabbits are pretty fast. A snake can't get hold of a rabbit. The rabbit would have to be napping or in well, some... Well... They'd have to drug the rabbit and someone like, come back to my place. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> have a martini! <laughs> Relax! <laughs> take Relax. Easy. Oh, please. Snakes don't do that anymore. Have another. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, what a lot of pet owners do is they just throw it in with the snake, and then, you know, if the snake's in a thing as bad as big as your desk, sooner or later, the rabbit and the snake are gonna come to grips with That's actually. awful. It's terrible. But yet, it's nature. Yeah, well, kind of nature, because in nature, they'd be, you know, all running around doing their thing. And right. Well, you, uh, still you should let contained. your boa constrictors go, then. I sometimes give my snakes a little bit of a run, so I'll take them outside. Me too. <laughs> 
I'll take them outside in the garden and I'll create like a little space for them and then I'll put some. You should make obstacles for them like that TV show. Like they have to go through little hoops and. <laughs> right? Yeah. Crimson factor. Yeah, Crimson factor. No, it's, it's called something else here. Oh, it's, is uh, it? Um, uh, what's the show where they have to do stuff? America's biggest. Dream? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, the. Uh, 